If you clicked on this video, you want to know how to never get hired as a musician ever again. I got your back. So back long before I ever worked at a studio, I was a musician, I was a guitar player, bass player, and some of these things ring a little too personal for me, so it's, it's a little too on the nose and bordering on a little too personal here. So how to never get hired as a musician, here we go. Don't worry about building a strong portfolio. Whoever you're trying to get a job from does not need to hear your past work. It's unlikely that you'll have to prove yourself as a competent musician and team player before you get this gig. So don't worry about accumulating all those things into one easily consumable product that you could hand to anybody willing to give you a job. It's not necessary. I mean, after all, if you're trying to be like a studio musician, why would they want to know what you've done in the studio in the past? It, eh, ugh. Number two, networking is overrated. You do not need to network. You're the only musician that really matters here. So getting to know other musicians, studio owners, venue owners, completely overrated. I don't know a single musician that it actually helped. After all, the people who are gonna hire you, they already know who you are. You don't need to get to know somebody who knows somebody who knows somebody. They'll find you. Number three, how to never get hired as a musician. Don't try to be versatile. You are a one trick pony. That's all you can do. Trying to learn too many different kinds of music so that you can be hireable in just about any scenario is definitely a good way to get a job. We're not trying to do that. So what you need to do is find some weird niche that you can fit into. Only do that ever, only ever do that. If you're a metalhead and you're trying to get a country gig, don't even worry about learning country licks. Just do what you do, bro. Number four, how to never get hired as a musician. Don't be professional. I feel like this one comes around a lot in these videos, but if you want to get a gig or you want to do something important, part of that is being professional and we don't want to do that. You never want someone to view you as if you know exactly what you're doing and vice versa. You don't want to treat anyone else as if they know what they're doing. If you're at a show and a sound guy is asking you what you need, treat him like total crap. He's not a professional and neither are you. You, don't forget it. Let's be clear, this is about you. You do not need to respect anyone else's time. If anything, they should be respecting yours. Time for a quick message from today's sponsor, me. My studio, Whisper Studios, is located in Indiana, just north of Indianapolis. If you want to work with me in any aspect, go to my website. I'll put a link down below. You can reach out on there. I have people who come and fly in and stay in hotels. It is cheap around here to come and stay for a while. So if you're looking for a cool space to come and just work for a day, send a track to get mixed and mastered, or you want to stay somewhere for a week and knock out a whole record, we can do that. But anyway, back to the video. Number five, skill development is for losers. If you're a musician, bass player, guitar player, you would think maybe practicing is a good idea. No, it's really not. Anyone will tell you that. No one actually needs to practice. What are scales anyway? Does anyone really know? Come on. And modes, please. Everything you need to know to be a good musician, you know right now. And if you don't, they're probably elitist anyway. Continuing to improve yourself as a musician is not something that you need to do. And especially with the music industry changing all of the time, new trends coming out, new markets coming out, new things that listeners are really attracted to, ignore all of it. You don't need it. You don't need it. Number six, to never get hired as a musician, don't be willing to travel. Chances are you do not live in a large music mecca, but it doesn't matter. I'm here to tell you that if you are not willing to go anywhere, you'll be fine. Better yet, don't even have a method of transportation so that when it's actually time to go to this underpaying gig, someone else has to take you. That is sure to never get a phone call back for you. And, that, and that's what we're going for here. Your little hometown is your sphere of protection. Never leave. Nothing good is outside of your city limits, I promise you. Number seven, to never get hired as a musician. Don't worry about creating an online presence. Because if I've learned anything in all of my time in the music industry, letting people know that one, you have skills, two, you're available, and three, doing what you're naturally doing is not necessary in the least. Here's how you can break it down. Any online avenue that a potential hiring individual can go to find you, see your skills, see your proficiency, you don't need it. Don't do it. You're not trying to get hired as a musician, so don't worry about it. Number eight, we all know being a musician is really, really hard, so you should not be persistent. Getting that first gig can be pretty hard, so when you get a no, give up. 
You definitely shouldn't continue to call or ask what the status of a gig is. You certainly shouldn't be practicing to try to enhance your skills so that eventually you could get more gigs. That's not what we're trying to do here. Wherever you are right now as a player, you're satisfied, you're safe, and that's that. So if you're trying not to get hired as a musician, a good way is to never volunteer for anything music related in your local area. And let me tell you why. Because as soon as you volunteer to do something that is kind and above yourself and people see that, you will start to get phone calls. And we are trying to avoid that as much as possible, okay? As soon as people see that you have a heart to give back to the community and that not only that, you're skilled as a player, you are a joy to be around. Your phone is gonna start going crazy don't do it. Avoid it at all costs. If a festival needs a player and you can do it, you say no. If a small child has a dream to just learn an instrument that you happen to be somewhat proficient on, tell that child to kick rocks. Nobody taught you. Somebody probably did. But that doesn't matter. You should never do anything kind for your local music community because it will definitely give back to you and that's not what we're trying to do. Lastly, if you're trying not to get hired as a musician, you should not be passionate. Music is one of those weird things that has, what are these nasty, disgusting things attached? Emotions. We do not want to get involved emotionally in anything that we're doing. Showing a passion or an enthusiasm for anything that you're trying to do music related is frankly contagious. And as soon as anyone else catches that fever, they're gonna ask you to be around a whole lot more. And trust me, you don't wanna do that. You wanna hide any emotional attachment you have to anything music related. Never show it. As soon as someone sees it, you're in the danger zone on, my friend you could get hired all right guys these videos are a mess to try to record <laughs> thinking in a negative the whole time because i've scripted it in the positive so this is all happening in my head in real time if you guys like videos like this hit the like button hit the subscribe if you like what we're up to i'm resident loser jeremy and i will see you in the next one